Hey guys, Rick Nice is be back more Fallout 4. So last part we met Nick Valentine. Turns out he's a simp. So now we need to go to Diamond City and tell him about Sean. So we'll fast travel there. We'll go to the marketplace because that's close to where he is. That's weird. So yeah, it turns out we're a synth. We saved him from that building he were in. I don't know what the hell it was, but we end up killing that weird mafia guy and his weird girlfriend and some random goal for some reason. So yeah, it was eventful. I'm not sure what the deal is with him being a synth. Not sure if I can trust him or not, to be honest. But yeah, we'll soon find out. Who said that? Who's called me tall? You. You boy. I am not tall. Tall than him, I like, but... Valentine Detective Agency. Let's go and talk to the seventh. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long uh -huh. as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every Pretty cat much. we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work Ooh. and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself Hang on. I've been given new clothes. Nice. Nice. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Describe Vault 111. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Uh, they killed his wife? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. Pretty much. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? Kidnappers? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... The Backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? Ooh, I wonder which one to pick now. Mmm, uh, 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 Sean. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Stop Good saying question. that, he's over 200 years Why old. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. No shit, I could have told you that. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who's the Institute? 
I already know. So you whatever. think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> Dog meat yawned. Uh, finding Sean? Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh, bald and scarred? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Only when I ate my breakfast. Oh! Sorry. Kellogg? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. He's in town? You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can yeah, see where that. he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Okay then, can we have cornflakes though? I'm gonna keep cracking that joke all day. But not till next part, because we're on seven and a half minutes, and it's gonna take a while to walk across there, and then we need to look around the house and dog meats. Looking cute still, like he always does. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to end this part here. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, favourite, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye.